and welcome to episode 16 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. I'm sorry this episode is a little bit late. Things are very busy for me in real life. But that's coming an awful time because obviously today's episode marks, well, it's the votes have been counted. They've been verified and checked. Iggy's new club has been decided. It went to the Patreon vote. Those incredible 31 absolute legends who donate every month to this channel. They're a huge part of why this channel's still going. And they are helping to build this channel for the future. So consider it if you want to be involved in votes of this magnitude in the future. But I'm not going to uh, not going to tease you any longer. Let's remind ourselves of the list of offers that Eggie's managed to acquire after a quite incredible breakout season in the Jupiler League. Obviously, Waslin Beveren would like to uh, keep hold of him. They're only able to offer him four hundred thirty-three thousand euros a year. PSV managed by uh, N Hermans, not their real life manager, not even a real life manager, I don't think. Uh, they've come in with a very, very tasty bid. The €986,000 contract. Three years as well. At the uh, defending Eredivision Division champions in real life. Not not in this. I think Ajax actually won it in this reality last year. But, I mean, that's going to be hard to turn down. It would be hard to turn down. AZ Alkmaar as well. A side that uh, a lot of you were very interested in. I didn't know much about them. They've got a great team. Really interesting team. And they've come in with a significant offer. 841,000. And then Troy's, that, that was the wild card um, in League 2. Could have been the main man, the star of this side. And, uh, well, amongst the commenters, amongst the patrons as well, this has been a very controversial vote. None of you really uh, agreeing with each other. I think you could probably go through the comments and you could find a lot of supporters for all of these four options. But I can reveal with 42% of the Patreon vote, it will be PSV who will be taking on board Eggy Milana victory for the next season. What an incredible signing for them. And what an incredible step forward in his career for Eggy. It's going to be difficult. There's no doubt about it. Probably the most tricky of the four options. But he backs himself, this lad. He backs himself all the way. So the contract will be signed and we will be moving over. Quite incredible scenes here. And here he is looking great in his suit at his first press conference in Eindhoven. PSV have made a, uh, a very interesting signing there. Fortunately, we're still recovering from our injury, so we're not going to be playing straight away. Let's see how they've started this season. Well, luckily, we needed that massively. Uh, they have... Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, they've they've overcome Fenerbahce in the Champions League playoffs. So we will be playing Champions League football this season. So they've had a great start to the season. 4-0 win over Ajax in the Johan Cruyff Cup. And then, yeah, 1-0 home win against Fenerbahce. A tricky matchup, that. Followed by a 3-0 home win, lovely, and then just finishing off Fenerbahce in Turkey to ensure we will be playing in the Champions League. Now, obviously it's going to be hard for Eggy to start in this side. Of course it is, there's a lot of talent, but there will be a lot of games. There'll be Champions League, there'll be the Dutch Cup, whatever that's called, and there will be the league as well. So I, I reckon Eggy can start to uh, get a few appearances fairly soon across all of those competitions. And then maybe, with some good performances, start to uh, get a first team place. It's going to be a big ask. We do know that Eggy is a very confident but also ambitious man. He had the opportunity to go to a variety of different clubs across Europe. Big clubs were interested, including Ajax. But he wanted to go somewhere with first team football. And he did that at Lecky Gdansk. And although not maybe the most exciting option, he knew that actually playing regularly at that stage in his career was the most important thing. Uh, he backed himself. He backed himself not to have to be in a youth team, in a youth development side. He backed himself as good enough. And he's doing it again now taking on the PSV mission, which is going to be a mission. But unfortunately, we are injured at the moment, so we won't be playing in the next game against Ajax. How will we get on in this one? It's a nil-nil draw Ooh. against big rivals. Now, in the next few episodes, over the next few episodes, we will be going into more detail about Eindhoven, about PSV as a club, um, looking at where he might have his new house, where's the local mosque, any good Indonesian restaurants. Spoiler, yes, there are. There's loads. Uh, but I'm not going to do that today. For now, we're just going to take a look at the side, see how we slot into it, and hopefully make our first appearance of some sort, probably off the bench, I'd imagine. And look at that, our teammate, Chucky Irving Lozano, has already scored two goals this season. Odegaard scored three already for Vitesse. Good start to the season for him. We did consider Vitesse. Uh, but before we go any further, uh, just a little shout out to Eggy in real life, who at the moment is playing in the AFC Under-19 tournament. Started the tournament with a bang, an incredible performance against Chinese Taipei. Coming away with a 3-1 win. Uh, Eggy's first goal was a very fortunate one. Um, 
Chinese Taipei also are uh, vulnerable to the low crossing bug that we've seen in pairs this year. Because this defender had no clue what he was doing. It was an easy finish. Well taken, confident finish for Eggy. And then this assist is absolutely divine. He looked to be running into a bit of a blind alley. But pulled off the reverse no-look pass to find his teammate who finished very, very well. And that got them off to a great start. I actually watched all of that game. And I didn't actually get to watch the second game, which was against Qatar, which was always going to be a much more difficult game. Indonesia were trailing 6-1 by the 56th minute, but they came back to only narrowly lose 6-5. Absolutely gutting. Somehow, Eggy didn't get an assist or a goal during that. I don't know. Don't actually know how well he played there. But uh, yeah, well, definitely be all eyes on the next game in the group, which is going to be a massive one on Wednesday against the United Arab Emirates. They need a win in front of the home fans. Apparently, there's been 35, 40,000 people coming to watch these games. Absolutely insane numbers. Obviously, we know the support in Indonesia is massive. Eggy has been playing well. Hopefully he can continue that. I'll certainly be watching 1 o'clock on Wednesday. Definitely, definitely got to be there. Plenty of streams around if you're looking for one. Right, let's keep moving. So what an incredible game to be involved in. And we're starting, wow, we're starting against Real Madrid. Our very first start will be <laughs> in the Champions League group against Real Madrid. That's absolutely ridiculous. Let's take a look at the sides. Wow, what, talk about a baptism of fire. And, uh, well, we've got some exciting players to play alongside. Uh, fans of uh, last series of uh, Master League Story Mode will remember Big Rog Martinez. Totally forgot that he's there as well. We've got two legends of Master League Story Mode to play up uh, up top with us. Maxi Romero from this season and uh, Roger Martinez from last season. Uh, we've got incredibly talented Mexican winger Chucky Lozano out on the left. He's going to be a joy to play with. Not the best passer, but a great finisher and quick as you like. Uh, Pereiro, don't know much about him on the right. Looks very decent as well. We're experiencing a massive step up in quality of teammates here. Uh, Eggy, 71 rated, will be the lowest rated player in the side. But he's, you know, not far off some of them. He's got time to improve. Obviously, he's keeping Ramzalar out of the side today. Very talented 23-year-old attacking midfielder. And uh, on the bench, not even considered today, are our other two competitors. Uh, Maro Jr. and Rusnak as well. All three of them technically better than us. But if we put in good performances... There's no reason why we can't forge a starting spot. No reason at all. Our defence are going to have their work cut out today, though, against an incredibly strong Real Madrid side. Asensio, Isco, Modric making up a cultured midfield trio, supported by Casemiro and Tony Cruz. Not bad at all. Gareth Bale playing up top alone. That's an interesting choice, but he is 85 rated there. And uh, Eggy, if he can make it past Casemiro, has only got to deal with uh, Nicolas Otamendi and Rafael Varane before finishing, hopefully, past Thibaut Courtois. This is... Wow, he's really being chucked in at the deep end here, but I like it. It's exciting. So it's nights like this at the Bernabeu. This is why we move. This is why we wanted to take the step up. I think Eggy did prove in the Jupiler League that he's got the ability to play at the next level up. And we've certainly leveled up three or four times that tonight. I think the area division will be, in, in general, will be perfect. I think it will be the right level. This might be a bit, a bit far off. But again, Eggy, a confident lad. I think he'll back himself to perform even against some of the best in the world. And what? I mean, I'm, I'm blown away. I'm actually feeling a real surge of pride. Almost tears of happiness. I like seeing my actual real son performing in such an incredible game. Can Eggy make a mark today? I mean, what a way to introduce yourself to the fans and the manager. And, uh, well, there's Lozano alongside us. We need to link up with him. And there's Big Rog as well. We know exactly what he's about powerful centre forward if we can get some balls into either of them they've got the pace and power to trouble even this incredible back line well 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 let's do it so in terms of tactics it's very much a short passing game um high pressure aggressive pressuring off the ball but in possession it's short passing it's not a counter-attack inside so much it's a little bit different from what eggy's used to it's his first touch here and he's in trouble already but anyway we'll, we'll get into this one we'll get into it but yeah, it's a slightly different uh, style of playing that we're used to from uh, the Waz and Beveren days. I think it will uh, suit Eggy. I really think it will. High ball, looking for Big Rog. Gets the header on into Eggy. Spots Lozano, and that's a great ball. Will he beat Carvajal to this one? He will. What a pass from Eggy. In terms of a first pass in an Eidhoven shirt, it's not a bad one. Keeps the ball well here. To the line now. Can he put a ball in? Big Rog is there. Varane heads away. Positive there from Eggy, though, really positive. The ball to find Lozano. That's going to be one we end up playing quite a lot. And did really well to create the crossing opportunity. Oh, already looking very comfortable on the biggest stage. 
That's a great ball into Eggy. What a ball. And now he's away from Carver Hal. Cuts back. Oh, and that's awful. No, no, no. That was the trademark reverse ball as well. We didn't back ourselves to beat Carver Hal to the line there. Didn't manage to get a shot off, but what a ball that was into Eggy there. When you start playing with players of this quality, suddenly find yourself through on goal without even knowing. Oh, Eggy with the sliding challenge on Otamendi. And there's nothing wrong with it as well. What a challenge that was. Can Big Rog actually make a good run here? Eggy's taking him on down the line. Floats it in, looking for Rog. Oh, what was he doing there? Martinez, not very sensible running there. Not very clever movement. After Eggy had run it, won it back with an incredible sliding tackle. Oh, he's really putting himself on the line today. Big Rog with a big hold-up play. And oh, we found him again. And he's away from Varane. Big Rog is never going to make it through there. Lozano into Eggy. Oh, they're going to go short. He's found a lovely patch of space out here. It's a dance away from Isco. Turns back inside. We'll get the shot off. It's not a bad effort. Oh, he created that all himself. Full of confidence today. Eggy starting off his PSV career at quite a pace. He knows Isco's there. Turns in very easily. Not exactly the defensive player. He gets the shot off. It is well wide, of course, while his goal in the end, but we've looked very, very lively. Carver Hal on the ball now. Throws it into Asensio. Could just be one moment of Real Madrid magic here at the Bernabeu to undo all of our good work. Asensio, space to put it back to the Brazilian, Marcelo. He's forced backwards and looks a bit lost here. Seems to be running in circles. I think his GPS might be down. But he's finally found a way through. Chips it in looking for Modric. He's through on goal. <gasps> Squares it. No way. Oh, that is exactly what I thought would happen. After all the great play from PSV, we're undone by, I mean, someone should have closed him down. Oh, that's poor defending. Modric squares it and, well, whoever that was in the centre, just napping after a very high paced first 45 minutes. What a sickener. What an absolute sickener. It's the half-time whistle will now blow and we go in a goal down. A goal in the first minute of injury time in the first half. And Eggy has looked very bright for his first start. He's obviously trying to prove himself to Hermans, the manager. As we know, those of you who've played Become a Legend before or watched this series, you do generally get two, maybe three max starts at the beginning of your time at a new club. It's sort of a test period. And uh, we have been chucked into a massive game for PSV. But I think Eggy is making a pretty good account of himself. I don't think Hermans will consider pulling him off at half-time or anything like that. I think we'll get a few more minutes at least in this second half. And uh, we've certainly... Look, the best player, I would say, for PSV. If we can keep that up, then that would be great. Right, let's do it. Asensio now into Modric. So many players who can unlock any defence in the world. Back to Modric. That's a good tackle. It's a fairly desperate clearance. But Rog gets the layoff. And now Eggy can put it over the top into Big Rog. He's got the better of Nicolas Otamendi. Roger Martinez, the wrong goal. And what a finish that is. And we're back in it. And Eggy with his first assist for PSV. Links up with the big Colombian. I think he's Colombian. Pretty sure he's Colombian. But Big Rod with a big goal. And he embraces with his new teammate. And he's got to be very happy with that ball over the top. Put it in exactly the right place at the right time. We always knew that in a foot race against Nicolas Otamendi, uh, there's no way he was going to be beaten. It's really weird in those cutscenes, isn't it, that Eggy's so tall. I don't understand how they can't get that right anyway. Let's not get annoyed by that now. Eggy, perfect ball into space on his weaker foot as well. Knew he had to make the pass. And have time to switch it onto the favoured left. A big, big goal there to get us level here in this first Champions League group stage game. And Eggy's been pulling the strings, and that's exactly what we wanted to see. We needed to see him get on the uh, either assist or goal sheet, score sheet, assist sheet today. Really important for his overall rating, which will be key in his manager trust level. Nice ball into Eggy. Have time to turn here. Move away from Cruz. Slips the ball in, looking for big Rod. You'll get to it ahead of Otamendi. Eggy's made a good run. Ball's coming in. Oof. Courtois puts his body on the line, but Eggy, as we've seen, has no problem making those late runs into the box. He loves a goal, as he proved last season. It'd be great to get one here on his debut at the Bernabeu. What an incredible story that would be. Out to Lozano. This time he grabs it. Eggy looking a little leggy now. He still wants to get up with this attack. Lozano showing that incredible pace. And now the ball comes in. Big Rog. Square it. Back post looking for Eggy. <laughs> Casemiro's there. The last line of defence, and he had to get that right. 
Well, there we have it, one all here, and it's a great result for PSV, and an incredible game for Reggie Milana victory from the streets of Indonesia to the hallowed turf of the Bernabeu in, what, two seasons? Just over that, one season. And not only to be playing for PSV, but to get an assist as well, alongside Big Rog getting the uh, highest rating for PSV. It's an incredible achievement. We certainly put in a lot of miles, and we were absolutely dead by the end. We were tracking back 19 passes, 13 of which we made, two shots off target. Yeah, maybe another chance to get in a, a good effort at one point, but other than that, it's a great, great first performance for Eggy. Got to be proud of that. So there we have it, an, a vital point in our Champions League group, alongside Schalke and Club Bruges. It's a pretty difficult group, actually. Schalke are a good side. Club Bruges, as we know from the Dupla League, they are a good side as well, so... Definitely an important point. And Eggy being the one to uh, to grab it, you could say. Perfect assist over the top. Big Rog still had a lot to do, to be fair. Uh, we're on 31% manager trust. So, as I said, we'll probably get one or two games more starting. And then we'll be out of the side, maybe not even on the bench for a while. They've got a very, very deep squad. So, it'll be interesting to see whether we do start today against AZ. We're on the bench here. Yeah, that's that's sort of usual, especially seeing as Eggy would have been absolutely knackered. But there he is sliding alongside big Roger Martinez at the Bernabeu. It doesn't get any better than that. really doesn't. So let's get into the second game straight away. As I said, we'll be going into a little bit more detail. We can learn a bit about PSV and about Eindhoven as a city. But let me know in the comments what you would like to know about Eggy's life there. Does he need to buy a new car? Obviously, we need to look for a flat. Obviously, we need to find him a mosque, somewhere to eat. I don't know what else, but there's plenty, plenty for us to look at. So let me know, and we'll be doing some research. I do enjoy doing that. So in the squad today, well, they've got De Jong up front. Another great option for them. Big, strong centre forward. Great in the air. Uh, Maro comes in today. Definitely one of our biggest competitors, as is Ramslar, who's playing out on the right. That that bodes pretty well. But they'll play him there at all. And there is the Archbishop of Banterbury, X-Man City. Now PSV, Angelino. He's still got number 69, I hope he has. And up against AZ today, as we know, a side that we definitely looked at, we would be uh, up against Madison, James Madison, ex Leicester. For that attacking midfield spot, it, I mean, I think both of these teams would be difficult to get into, but PSV, definitely the more exciting. Uh, how are we looking? We're a little bit tired. Sideways arrow. Right, let's do it. So here we are at the Phillips Stadion for the first time this season. Well, with Eggy, at least. And uh, this is going to be a tricky game. AZ, a big, big side. And they continue their fairly good start to the season. And can Eggy get on? And can he make a difference? Let's find out. Oh dear. And it's a far from optimal start here as Adrissa puts AZ up very, very quickly in this one. And uh, let's take another look at that. Wow, the stadium is rocking. What a stadium. Let's see what went wrong there. All down the line is a simple one. It's Angelino who's caught out there. He's not wearing the number 69. That cannot be helping him. And it's Big Fred Friday. Freaky Friday with the ball in. And that's a lovely touch. From Madison, potentially from Madison. That might be Madison. That's cheeky. And that's a good finish. Not a good start. So half time here. Not so perfect for PSV. They've only had one shot on target, as have AZ, but they've had all the possession and obviously crucially have got the goal. Ideally for Eggy as well. I think at one point I saw Maro Jr. just run it into touch with no pressure on him at all. So hopefully, because we're behind, we should get some sort of run out in the second half. Right, let's go. Oh, and it's a big run out. A full 45 for Eggy. That's exactly what we needed. Perfect opportunity for us to build on the great game we had against Real Madrid. Paul Maro Jr. onto the bench now. Oh, good ball in. Friday with the overhead kick. And that is just wide. PSV looking to uh, try and prevent AZ getting a second goal here, which would be absolutely unheard of. Good ball in. Is that Ron Vlar? Ron Crete gets a header well wide. We are under pressure here. Eggy yet to have a touch. 38% possession so far. 50 minutes into this game. That is absolutely awful. Eggy needs to get his foot on the ball. On ball looking for De Jong. Find Eggy. All over the top is a nice one. Oh, it's just offside. That's unlucky. Really unlucky. Can't be much in that. Oh, it's very tight. Eggy put that into a good position as well. Unlucky. Madison into a drisser. That's lovely. James Madison, good ball in. That's a good bit of defending. Had to be there. Till picks it up, though. Have a chance to get another ball into the box. He's headed away. But we can't seem to get it away. Svensson, that's awful. Eggy will grab it here. He's going to streak away down this left-hand side. Early ball into De Jong. Wants it back. The overlapping run from Angelino is there. That's a very strong pass, but it's into a good position. 
Eki wants it short here. He's going to hit this one on the run. Oh, it's a good hit. Had to hit that first time. Using his momentum. Didn't have to hit it first time, actually. Could have taken quite a few touches there. Let's have another look at that. Started the move off well into Angelino. And there's a load of space here. It could have either been him or Lozano who went for it. In the end, it was Eggy palmed away. Madison into Friday. This is nice. Dos Santos now looking for Friday again. Good header. Eggy can pick it up here. Not a great first touch. Let's find a ball inside. Just about. De Jong out to Lozano. Eggy making a good run here. Wants it short. Cuts back inside. First goal in the area division. Yes, get in there. Get in there, Eggy, my son. And that is exactly what we needed. And that's a very typical Eggy Milano victory goal. Stepping inside. Composed in front of goal. And he's off the mark here straight away. What an incredible first two games this has been for Eggy. It's the assist against Real Madrid at the Bernabeu. And then his first home debut. I mean, it's always a first debut, isn't it? His home debut in front of the PSV fans. And he gets a very important equalising goal. Slipped in by Irvin Lozano. Eggy's so dangerous in that position. The late runs to the near post. Cutting back inside. He's already making friends here. And he'll certainly be making friends in the crowd. He keeps putting away goals like this. You know he's got that first touch. Boom. Away from his man. Even onto his weaker foot. He finishes beautifully. He celebrates with his new teammates. What a start to his career. Is he looking to put a ball in? Eggy's back defending. You know things are serious. And he's got a touch to that. And he's got a touch to that, but it's back in to the AZ player. Oh, shit. Shit. Well, that's what happens when Eggy defends. It doesn't go well. He actually got in the right position to intercept that. The touch was awful. And he tried to hit it back to a teammate there. Oh, you've got to say he's at fault there. That is gutting. And that is it here. That's disappointing. That's really disappointing. You've got to say that Eggy was at fault for that second goal. There's no doubt about it. He's been full of confidence. Since coming to PSV, but maybe that overconfidence has cost us the game here. Could have just cleared it. Could have just hit it way, way out. But no, he tried to be clever. Tried to play a ball back in. Tried to launch the counter-attack. And ultimately, that was our undoing. Gutted, absolutely gutted. I mean, PSV didn't play well. Only 42% possession. Uh, Eggy comes on and gets a 7.5. That's great. Doesn't even get man of the match despite that. But, well, in terms of average rating, we started very, very well. But not ideal. Third match day and we are down into seventh place. Uh, still plenty of time left and it's uh, one win, one draw, one loss so far. Not the best start, but we'll take it. A goal and an assist so far for Reggie in a 7.3 average rating. That'll do very nicely. Little jump up of 3% manager trust. Slowly sneaking up there and uh, the stats are starting to look great, aren't they? 78 speed now, 75 dribbling, 71 overall rating. Absolutely beautiful. So there we are. Starting the next game. Very, very exciting. Well, we'll have to find out how he does in that in the next episode. As sadly, this is all I've got time for today. But PSV are three games without a win now, so that's not ideal. Hopefully against as well, uh, we can get back into some winning form. And Eggy, if he can keep putting in these performances, I don't know. He's got to be uh, he's got to be in line for a starting spot pretty soon. Goals and assists in his first two games. Really, really exciting. Let me know what you think about this uh, new club. What you think about Eggy's chances here. And, uh, well, we'll start to learn a little bit more about his life in Holland now in the next episode. I'll see you in a bit.